hello so in this video I'll explain you about the scoring system how to operate scoring system and how to operate YouTube overlay so these are the two things that I'm going to explain about in this video so yeah, I'm in matches section in scorebook panel I already created one match between demo one and web demo one so this is the things that you see in matches panel and uh, about uh, operating your youtube overlay you once you submit your uh, youtube embed code of your live youtube video you get this url in step 2 so this is this uh, zoom that you already added in your wirecast or vmix or any other uh, broadcasting uh, tool so i just ex I just show you i just copy paste this thing on my uh, tester so this is this is what you see in your youtube uh, panel this is our youtube OS live score overlay you have to set your width as 1920 and height you have to set it as 1080 so this is uh, uh, the content using demo one and the logo which you are seeing because you already created a match because you already created a match here and this, this content it is showing about this match only so here let's start with the match your scoring system so first thing I'll explain you here about the scoring system so whenever you start any matches you get three buttons over here two are for batsman and one is for baller so here these are the two batsmen that you have to add and one baller you have to add initially so i'll add first batsman left this is demo player one the second batsman is suppose is other batsman um, i would like to add demo surname using this button you can add okay here comes demo surname is a right handed batsman okay no batsman so added two batsmen directly you can also add ballers uh, I would like to add demo baller surname okay I added him demo baller surname okay so I added two batsmen one baller I said demo player one is on strike so so here accordingly the changes automatically uh, done so demo one demo player one is on strike his name comes only demo uh, it's a big name that's but the only demo has been printed on your live youtube overlay and the baller name is also a demo because we took demo surname something so this is the initial thing so on the first ball suppose i say he hit one run so i can directly suppose it's an individual run run suppose it's a dot ball then you can have to click here zero if you want to hit one run two three four five six so this button indicates like this only so same changes will be automatically as in demo one total score is one and player one score is one and the strike I want I you have to click on now I'm on strike button so the strike wrote it down on demo here yeah. so the this changes whatever you are doing you think do he, over here this changes will be automatically uh, reflected on your YouTube panel so I just explain you about this button what we have to do so this is first inning and these are the two batsmen and the green thing that you see over here that is means he's on strike so suppose he hits six so all the things will be reflected over here as in seven in your sorting system here you get the each ball overview this is first ball second ball third ball fourth fifth and sixth and the same changes also reflected here total score is seven so now you don't have to worry about your youtube live score overlay you just have to concentrate on your scoring system thing 
because whatever changes you are making over here that will be automatically reflected on your YouTube panel so I'll just explain you about this this is first inning this is the first panel this is the first row is your out area so if the batsman got balled out you have to click here if it's caught out you have to click over here so if you caught out you have to submit the name of the uh, player who caught the ball if he is stumped out if he is run out if it's LBW or the we have other options hit wicket retired hard or handle ball hit ball twice time out you are obstructing the field so whatever the reason the batsman got out you have to select through first row only and the second row is for the buys batsman if the if the result is buys 1 2 3 4 5 6 so so this row is for buys only say third row is for leg buys if leg buys happens then you have to click over here and only fourth row is for the no ball so if the ball is no ball you have to only if it's only no ball you have to click here okay it's no ball so automatically one run is added in extra the black if if it's no ball and baller hits on the ground and he took one or two runs or four runs and this this is for the second button no plus runs if it's no ball on the no ball if you, if the batsman got out so here whenever you click no plus wicket so demo one he got out or the other batsman got out so here we have options you can count this ball yes or you can cannot count this ball because some organizers have their own rules and they can they count this ball if a batsman got out a no ball some don't count so this thing come here and the last button is no if it is no ball and batsman hit you took one or two runs or or uh, or three runs and uh, you got a run out then you have to click here so batsman hit the ball by what bat or if we if it is extra run suppose the bat um, ball hit on his pad and he took uh, extra run and while taking second run he got out so no plus uh, you know extra runs and he take one run who got run out so this is suppose he the uh, hit the ball by bat then you have to click here he took one run and while taking second run this batsman got out so this is like this okay no plus out plus one same for the white ball if it's only a white ball you have to click here if it is white plus run you have to click here okay if it's white plus one you have to click here one how much uh, extra runs you got if it is white plus wicket only white plus wicket then you have to click here if it is white plus runs plus wicket then you have to create, uh, click here so if it is no ball then you have to click uh, see only this row on the fourth row only because because sometimes happens is on the no ball he got run out then the score book uh, operator may get confused with the first row run out button or the uh, fourth row no, out, uh, no ball row so I just um, tells you here that whenever the ball is no you have to see in no ball row only so in the fourth row only if it is only run out then you have to click in in the first row that ball uh, batsman got run out but he is he got run out on the no ball then you have to see in the no ball section only same for the wide ball here if it is a wide ball and he got out on the wide ball then you have to see in the wide ball row only so it's a fifth row only the sixth row is penalty if you organize and give the penalty you can directly click here penalty for what runs if this team got penalty this one so like this uh, it's a pretty simple thing so I just now new adding a new batsman so suppose I want to undo uh, my previous thing 
I can also here because you get the overview of each ball first ball second ball third ball and you can you get for every ball you get this button I want to undo my previous third ball so on the third ball so my batsman my earlier two batsman striker batsman come come over here because no one is out over here it one run then then zero so just adding randomly you got bowled out suppose then the my new batsman come suppose uh, mm, he comes okay it's zero okay so my first over is done okay here also also got changed first over is done so suppose here i assume that match is only for first uh, one over so once i finish with the first inning let me add second over also so from here also you can add suppose second over man baller's name okay so this is my second over on the first ball you hit four so the you did reflected on your youtube overlay and only he got strike second ball dot ball dot and the fourth ball it's a leg by okay strike got him okay it's a 13 for one same you will be reflecting here then the one then zero so two hours completed so in two hours we got 14 runs so now i'll uh, because match is of 14 hours only so, and uh, first inning is over then there is a button here on the right side which is declare so now i had uh, while creating match i had set over as uh, five hours but i say that this match is only of two hours so i'll just submit it matches of two hours and i declare first inning so once you declare your first inning your left panel you see like this all the scorebook you see extra runs total runs all the things you see over here again in the second inning you have to add two batsmen and the and the one baller of the baller innings so here your second inning got started so here in the panel you see demo one and man bowler demo one demo demo bowler and man bowler they are playing so for the demo bowler only demo name is printed and it's a man bowler and a demo player is bowling on the bowler side demo player one so some let's start some with the one run okay he scored one okay okay so this is what the score system scoring system is so teams players and matches and here you can add this batsmen and ballers and this is the out area buys leg buys and uh, no ball row wide ball and penalty row and on the right side we have overs button and the declare button so once you finish with the second inning you again have to clear click on declare and you have to set that over the team suppose demo, demo one uh, won the match you have to click here under suppose demo one if it is super over you have to click here so this is the scoring system and whatever the changes that that will be here that will be automatically populated over here now i'll explain you about how to operate your youtube overlay so in setup you have a big green button over here which is operate youtube overlay click 
on the YouTube overlay you see this screen these are the number of panels it's a YouTube panels that you you going to uh, operate through this button so this live YouTube overlay you will operate through this area so whatever that that things that coming here you can operate through this area also so right now I'm showing score thing okay click on score thing so everything is coming I'm um, target is 15 in two hours Weibo Platinum 1 is my tournament name on the first ball it's a 1 the match is against demo 1 I need uh, 14 runs in uh, uh, 11 balls so all the details that will automatically come out here over here current rent is 10 uh, required is 7.78 so I want to show um, batting inning of demo 1 team you can click on demo 1 so here so this is how you can operate this I want to show balling inning of demo 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 1 first thing so this is how you, so this is how you can operate your YouTube overlay through this YouTube panel so same for the first this is how so second inning bowling thing okay here the team name the baller is bowling this is how you can match summary yes okay here comes match summary demo 1 14 for 1 yeah you can also show the need okay the sixes if you hit sixes show you can show so I'll just show you the some things suppose in matches um, demo baller hits six so score this is show like this and from the YouTube panel you have to show like series sixes and this will say this is the second six of the tournament and again you click on score so this thing how you can so you like this suppose you like this shot then add wow wow would be this will be shown on video or YouTube video you can also do this full screen video this is the full screen score this is the full screen need that you can show versus yes this is the versus panel in case you don't want to show anything on your YouTube video you can click on show blank so here you will see show nothing will be shown from our India Creek side on your YouTube overlay want to show again click on score score will come here so like this we have a number of uh, panels suppose we hit six you can click on here you turn YouTube this will show you want to show baller this is baller over you and the statistics also you can show here it's 18 plan statistics of trans okay this these are the statistics with the player photo so for the most wickets and the score so this is how you can uh, so now you learn about the scoring system and uh, how to operate your YouTube overlay so these are the two things that you learn from this video thank you